Welcome back. Now we're here in, in lesson two of vocabulary. And here we're going to go through the rest of our verbs. We're going to go through some nouns. And we're going to finish off with the last part of our vocabulary that we're going to use just in lesson one. It's a lot of vocabulary, but it's great because it gives us the ability to have a lot more to say, a lot more to write, a lot more to remember, and how we can use and change things. And as you will see and stuff, it's necessary because we want to be able to pound packed as many sentences, as many ideas as we can. And it's, I really believe, going to help, especially with looking and understanding of you know, how quick you actually can learn Hebrew and how much you really, you know, probably don't even think that, you know, I really can learn Hebrew this quick. And, and yet I want to do this. I love doing this and this is my passion. I love it. And so I just want to help you. So without further ado, let's continue on here. Here we go on the last part of our verbs. Natan gave. Natan gave. Natna gave. Natna gave. Now remember, we said on the left hand side are the boy verbs, and on the right hand side are the girl verbs. Okay? Lakach took. Lakach took. Lakha took. Lak Ha took. Yada nu. Yada nu. Yad a nu. Yad a nu. Shamar kept or guarded. Shamar kept or guarded. Shamra kept or guarded. Shamra kept or guarded. Yatsa went forth. Yatsa went forth. Yats a went forth. Yats a went forth. Now let's go on to our nouns. Here in our nouns, we're going to be seeing here, we're going to have some nouns that are masculine and some nouns that are feminine. Now I didn't do every single thing as to identify a masculine noun because, well, some of the nouns are just kind of simple to know they're masculine. Other ones, we have to know there has to be an actual special one. So if it has a boy in front of it, then you know it's absolutely a boy. If it doesn't, you got to know it's a boy. If it, if it has a girl in front of it, then we know this is only for girls. Now, some nouns, like I said, you're going to know it's a girl because, well, it's kind of an easy one to figure that one out. Okay? So here we go. Yelid. Child. Yelid. Child. Now, you notice I put here a child. Now, why did I do this? There is no verb of existence in Hebrew. So, if I was to say a child took the ball, a does not exist in Hebrew. So, I would just say yelid. Okay? And so, the reason why I put a with brackets around it is so that you can kind of get the concept of realizing that when we're looking at a noun that's considered in our language an indefinite and therefore needing the indefinite article a or an we use these words in front of the noun to identify it being indefinite in hebrew we don't need it we actually have only one thing that we need to do identify if it's definite that's it if it's not definite you know it's indefinite and therefore this is how it looks so yelid child yelled child and this is only for boys so if we're going to talk about a girl we would go down and we'd say yalda child yalda child okay so we know there's a boy form and a girl form for these two actual words that are the same exact word okay naar young boy naar also can be undefined as a, like a teenager okay Naar, young boy. And once again, we have a feminine form. Naara, young girl. Naara, young girl. Av, father. Av, father. M, mother. M, mother. Ish, man. Ish, man. Isha, woman. Isha, woman now these other ones i'm going to go and actually use the actual cursor to just always stay close to identifying what noun i'm going to be looking at here now the next one is called davar davar 
is a word literally meaning like how we would say hey what's the word okay so this is literally meaning something that is said okay it also is used for a thing or a matter so a thing in general or a matter meaning a subject or an issue okay so devar word meaning something said or a thing or a matter something like an issue of some sort bite means house or home bite house or home boker morning boker morning now the bottom here we have meuma meuma means something or anything this is all just a generic something or anything period meuma something or anything meuma something or anything now the next one is mila what is mila it's a word it means literally it's like the way we would understand the word word when we refer to like apple is a word okay so mila is referring to like an actual consonant with vowels that are put together to create sounds and these sounds we call a word okay mila word who this is our pronoun who he who he more teacher more teacher and this is for boys only okay mishpacha family mishpacha family mitzvah commandment mitzvah commandment he she he she mora teacher mora teacher so once again more is the masculine form mora is the feminine form torah a teaching or an instruction or the torah meaning the five books of moses torah a teaching or an instruction or the torah all together as the five books of moses kirya village or town kirya village or town ir city ir city sade field sade field ani i ani i am now why did i put i am because typically when we use like i am so and so once again we find we don't have verbs of existence in hebrew so we have to understand the fact that if i say ani then i'm always having to back interpret that the am is there in construction of grammar even though it's not there into an existence because there's no word am okay now let's look at these prepositions here l l is unto or to and this is indicating the movement of direction towards so like he went l to or unto blah 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 okay next one is b b means in like inside of okay like the coffee mug is inside the microwave that's what in is referring to or b means at as in near to this is but telephone it's 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 near or at the telephone okay al about al about so this is in relation to like this is concerning about or concerning in regard to this is what we're referring to when we're saying al here there's many meanings i want you to learn this i'm not going to give you all these meanings in this lesson we're going to learn new meanings of these different things in other lessons bet has other meanings we're not going to focus on those things now because i just want you to remember these simple ones for this lesson and for the lessons we're doing here so that you can learn really how to use these words and use these prepositions so that you can actually see how they function because you know the big problem that i noticed and i didn't like this and stuff is a lot of these grammar books that are created and the books that i find that, that do exist out there 
is these grammar books like to spend time telling you what these words are used for and, and give you kind of some examples how they're used, but then you're not exercising your using of it. You're more of exercising your memorization of what they mean. And I don't like that because that's not how you learn Hebrew. You got to use it. If you use it, you get it. You understand it. You know how it's used and you know how it, how it means because you've understood how you use it contextually. And this is the grammar. This is the meat. Um, this is the, the, this is the, the, the deep parts of, of Hebrew is knowing the meat of Hebrew, knowing the meat of the, of the way it's used. Okay. Next one is mean, which is from. And like I said, there's this, this has other meanings too. I'm not going to tell you now, but this one we're going to use mean as in from. And then we have our adverbs po, here, or at this place, literally if you want to say. Po, here. Misham, from there. Misham, from there. Shama, over there. Shama, over there. And that's it. We are done with our vocabulary, and now we will work in the next session. We will actually function and work with knowing what to do and how to start learning our words and memorizing them from English to Hebrew or from Hebrew to English and the next few lessons. And we'll also start conjugating sentences. We're actually going to create a simple, basic sentence so that you can literally say, in Hebrew, who kara he read, or Moshe kara Moshe read, and I'm going to vocalize these things so that you can, you know, hear it and you can put it down. And the thing I want to do is just I want to help you learn Hebrew, and just want to give you the steps from basic to complex. So we're going to work on very very basic stuff, and then as we progress forward, we're going to go into more complex things. We'll see you next time.